What is WBS? Work Breakdown Structure, commonly known as WBS, is a tool used to define and group a project's discrete work elements in a way that helps organize and define the total work scope of the project. The work breakdown structure can be viewed as a task-oriented family tree of activities. WBS provides the basis for planning and managing project schedules, costs, resources, and changes. Let's review some familiar terms of a work breakdown structure. Decomposition is a term commonly used to describe the subdividing of project deliverables into smaller pieces. Tasks are another term you should know. A task in relation to WBS is any work that needs to be done in order to complete the project. There are also summary tasks, which are simply tasks broken down into smaller objectives. The final level of a WBS is the work package. The work package is the only level which can be given time estimates since they are individual elements of the project. A WBS dictionary is a document that describes detailed information about each WBS item. These work package descriptions can either be a short paragraph or a page plus, depending on the complexity of the item. Why WBS? The WBS details what work needs to be completed and how to complete it. It takes the big picture of a project and breaks it down into smaller, more manageable objectives. How to write a WBS? To start writing a WBS, you need to get with your group and go over the best way to deliver the project. You will group the activities by work stream or by deliverables. You need to know what kind of project because each setup is different in either the terms of scope, resources, time frames, or budget. All the terms impact the way you detail the phases. There are many ways to approach the development of a WBS. First, there is the analogy approach. This method will review a WBS from a similar project as a starting point. This approach is effective because it allows the project manager and their team to view sample WBSs before creating their own. Another method is the top-down approach. This approach begins by taking the largest items for the project and breaking them down into secondary categories. This continual process will provide greater levels of detail. Project managers who primarily focus on the big picture of a project find this method the most beneficial. The bottom-up approach is quite the contrary to the top-down approach. This method begins by identifying very specific tasks, then organizing them into group-related tasks before categorizing them into higher and higher category levels. This method is very time-consuming, but may be the most effective. Lastly, there's a technique called mind mapping. This procedure is often used during the top-down and bottom-up approaches. Rather than the standard list form procedure, this method involves a core idea which branches out into smaller ideas. It may be drawn or written out in non-linear form. This less structured approach allows for more visual pictures of the project scope by defining and grouping tasks. It can release creativity and morale among team members. WBS example. At this time, you know several approaches which prepare you for creating a WBS. Microsoft Project is a powerful software tool that will assist you. Here is a sample level 4 WBS we use to create this video. This sample should help in your development. Let's break it down. Now, as you can see, there are five main tasks. Concept, script development, identify and test equipment, video development, and submission. To the right of these task names, there is a field labeled duration. This depicts the amount of time in days it will take to complete each task and summary task. Let's now further examine the script development task. This task has a 15-day duration. It is composed of two summary tasks research topic, and write script. All summary tasks have duration dates decomposed from within their assigned task. For example, research topic took three days to complete, leaving 12 days to write the script based on the information gathered. Work packages are the lowest level of the WBS as you learned earlier. Read research materials, create script outline, write script, and finalize script are the four work packages decomposed from write script. Together, this work took 12 days to complete. The predecessors field displays a number for each work package to calculate the progress of the project in terms of days. The start and finish fields are extremely efficient in preparing a visual aid by creating a timeline based on the dates you enter. The black lines in this timeline represent the tasks and summary tasks, while the blue lines depict the work package. This grid has weekly dates at the top to track the progression of your project. Now that you've learned how to create a WBS using Microsoft Project, why don't you try it on your own? Before getting started, here are some last-minute tips. 
Each individual work objective should appear only once throughout a WBS. All major categories should be the sum of all the tasks in its sublevels. The WBS should correlate to the actual work which needs to be performed. Project team members, as well as the project manager, should be heavily involved in development of the WBS for a project. The WBS dictionary should accompany every item to ensure efficient understanding of the tasks. Finally, the WBS must be able to accommodate changes that often occur during any project.